Raw files have a tremendous amount of flexibility to allow you to reach in and recover details. I recommend that you get pretty aggressive and then back it off a little bit, but you'll often be surprised by what you can accomplish. Here we have a RAW file, and I'll start with a simple auto adjustment. Additionally, I'm going to take advantage of camera profiles. This little box here lets you access the camera profiles and reach into it itself. Now what I could do is browse. Notice we have camera matching. This lets me match the settings that the camera recommends, for example, landscape settings or other choices here for different situations. I'm going to go with the camera landscape matching ones and that works quite nicely. You'll also see other choices here such as the Adobe landscape which is a nice one to match to the subject and obviously you can use portrait for portrait type situations. These are going to also help you maximize that. In this case I think the Adobe landscape did a nicer job of recovering some of that detail. Now these are locked in because they're not stylistic. Some of the other ones down here can be adjusted with a slider, but these are more absolute. Click the close button and then continue to look at your choices. Clarity and texture are gonna be the friends here. This is gonna allow you to bring out that detail and really emphasize the small amounts of contrast. Clarity is gonna be a little more aggressive and affect a bigger area and dehaze is gonna work on the sky, but you can't be too aggressive. Remember, as you do this, I suggest leaving the clipping indicators on. So this way, if you see clipping, you can play with that black point and try to bring some of it back to just dial that back until the clipping goes away. Now we definitely have an improvement. If we look at the side by side, you see a tremendous amount of detail and dynamic range brought back. The key here was to not overuse or over rely on just one tool. By properly interpreting the raw file and assigning a profile to nudge it in the right direction and then using auto, I was able to get 90% of the way there. Then selectively refining things like texture and clarity, I could add a little bit of that dynamic range to taste. Once I'm satisfied with that, the clipping indicators come in so I could see that I'm not crushing any of the highlights or the shadows. While that's not a one button fix, it's still really fast and makes such a great improvement.